Okay, so good day, and today we have this rock. So uh, I never found this in a formation. I found it on the ground in a, a construction zone, and it's not like the other rock that we have uh, around the place. So the two types of rock we have are basalt and siltstone. So here we have the siltstones. These are uh, they have some fossils. So here's a brachiopod. Uh, and there's, they're either the Humevale or the Dargol formation. Uh, this is the Humevale formation, most of this. But they look pretty much the same. And there's another brachiopod. It's also trilobites. Do I have trilobites? No, I need to look. So that's the colour. You get it blues. You get it uh, brownish yellow. So that's those ones. And do I have any basalts here? Uh... No, that's the ignimbrite. Okay, uh, that's that's part of my collection. So I don't seem to have any basalts here, but you know what basalts are? They're a fine grain igneous rock. Okay, so if we look at this, so this is the weathered surface, and here we have the fractured surface, and I don't see any fossils in this rock. Obviously, it's light coloured, so I'm thinking that it might be a limestone, uh, probably from the formations that are around Lilydale. Although limestones are known to occur in the Humevale and the Dargol formation, although um, they're usually the Humevales, yeah, they're usually more deeper ocean sediments. But I've got some vinegar. I don't have any white vinegar. I just want to see if they if this actually works. Okay, so what happened there? It's just been absorbed. And is there any fizzing? Oh, there is some. Oh no, it's probably just going through the rocks and that's the air coming out. Uh, let me do another surface. Ooh. So we probably need a stronger acid for this to work. Oh yeah, no. No, that is fizzing. Yeah. So I get a weak, weak reaction from uh, this material. Let's try again. There you go. Okay, so I have no problem. Uh, I think that this is a limestone. Obviously, vinegar does work, but because it's just a weak acid, uh, it doesn't give the reaction that you, you're really looking for. So, now I need to look up to see if there's any limestone formations that occur around my locality in the north. Yeah, but if it had fossils, it, it would have been a lot better to identify it. But this doesn't seem to have any indications of fossils occurring in the actual rock. Oh, no. See, so you don't see any fossils. So this is magnified about four times. If I can't see anything now, I'm probably not going to see anything ever. So, anyway... That is pretty much how you test for limestone. Okay, thank you very much and have an awesome uh, time learning about geology.